Hey there, it's Lise Wheel for LiseWheelBooks.com. I hope you'll go out and check out that website, LiseWheelBooks.com. Check out Face of Betrayal and, and YouTube as well. Um, and a little incentive, if you write in and I take your question to actually talk about on these daily vlogs, or weekly vlogs, excuse me, I'm going to send you, the publisher is going to send you a free copy of Face of Betrayal. So write into LiseWheelBooks.com and next Tuesday when I sit here, I will read, if, if I read your question, I'm sending you a free copy of Face of Betrayal. All right, so what is in the news today, the legal news? Big news just in a couple of minutes ago. You know, the whole Bernie Madoff, oh, scandal. We all know how terrible that is. Um, he was sentenced to a thousand years or something like that. His accountant now, the other person, the only other person that's been charged in the whole Bernie Madoff investment scam, has just pled guilty and could serve, could serve up to 108 years. My guess, my my guess is he's not going to get the 108, that because they made a plea deal, that my guess and my hope really is that they'll, that he's going to lead them to some of the money. Because he was Bernie Madoff's accountant, he must knew, uh, you know, know where some of that money had gone to so we can get it back to the investors. So that will reduce his sentence from a possible 108, but at least if we can get some money back into the pockets of those poor people that lost, you know, sometimes everything in, to Bernie Madoff, that would be fabulous. So that's good news in the Bernie Madoff um, story. Um, another interesting story out of California, you may have followed this one a while ago, a young woman, a 28-year-old, beautiful woman with three gorgeous children and a husband, went to, in 2007, went to a radio station to do a contest. What was the contest? Drinking as much water as you could in the length of time that they had. I don't even know how long it was, but just stuffing yourself with the water. This poor mom, this poor mom, this was in 2007, remember, when the Wii was just phenomenal. I mean, I remember that that's all my kids wanted was the Wii um, and trying to go to the store and not be able to get it. She went to the radio station, entered this contest to drink this water, drank and drank and drank and drank the water, the, a nurse called in to the radio station at one point and said, look, she's drinking too much water. This is dangerous for her. And the disc jockeys apparently just laughed. The woman died. This is a 20-year-old woman with three beautiful children dead for wanting a wee. The jury just came back a couple of days ago and awarded her $16.5 million. Now that's a lot of money. I want to ask you, what do you think? Is that too much money? Was there some kind of personal responsibility that she had and not, you know, shouldn't she have stopped drinking the water? But then also, it was, wasn't the jury just sending a message that, you know, wait a second, radio station, you should have known, you knew or should have known, especially after that nurse called, that this was dangerous for this poor woman. I'd love to get your insight on that. And then these two horrible stories, this uh, couple charged in the in the uh, J.C. Dugard case, uh, you know, this little girl that was um, molested and, and picked up 18 years ago and kept inside the home. Uh, they've pled not guilty. And another case in Cleveland, a uh, convicted rapist, a, a serial offender, uh, signed up on the, on the sex offender role. Six bodies, decomposing bodies, were found in his home. People, what I don't understand in both of these cases, you know, in different parts of the, of the country, is why weren't these men being watched? They were on the sex registry. Why weren't the probation officers there? In the, in the J.C. Dugard case, it was in particularly bad uh, because one of the neighbors said, look, I think something's funny out here. I, I think there's something going on in the backyard with children. The probation officer went, as they are want to do, they should do, doesn't have to have a, a arrest warrant or a search warrant to go inside the house. What does he do? He talks to Dugard in the front lawn instead of even going to the backyard to check things out. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. Um, on a little bit lighter note, I'd love to know what you think about this. In California, the Sacramento Bee reports that in a senior citizen's community, uh, one group of senior citizens is suing another family for smoking in their backyard. Smoking just regular cigarettes, but smoking in their backyard. They're saying that the secondhand smoke that they're getting from the smokers in their backyard and the senior citizen community is worth a lawsuit. Um, now, I don't know if you've ever been to my house and I cook bacon, you know, sometimes that smell can waft over too. So I don't know. You think this is a good suit, lawsuit, a frivolous one? Uh, weigh in with me. And any other questions about Face of Betrayal, about our, the characters in the book, anything you want to ask me at leasewheelbooks.com. And hopefully next week I will read your question and send you a free copy of Face of Betrayal. Take care.